I'm here. But first, let's look at some top secrets. Yeah, so first up... Um, yeah, I'll talk about what I, what I designed. What's this? Okay, this is a TCA 4307. So last week, you might remember, I had the ISO 1540 breakout, which is an I2C isolator. Um, but while I was looking for that, I also bumped into this chip. This is the TCA 4307, which is a chip that does um, hot swap for I2C. So it basically means... You know, have you ever had that issue where you have like an I2C controller and then you plug in a peripheral and it like kind of spazzes out your I2C connection like because the clock or SDA line uh, gets toggled and now like it's out of sync? Um, well, this chip, it, it uh, only electrically isolates temporarily the two sides of the data lines and then connects them when it's a stable time to do it. And so you can hot swap I2C, which is like a pretty handy thing, I thought. So I made a little breakout for it. Next up. Um, and I wanted to play with like the Pico DVI projects that I've, I've been seeing. Um, Ren, uh, who's a Raspberry Pi uh, Pico dev, has been doing some cool video output projects for the RP2040. And I was like, I want to do that. But, uh, you know, we do have a DVI breakout in the shop that's like terminal blocks. But I thought, you know, I should have one that's like a PCB, um, you know, friendly uh, breakout for DVI. It uses an HDMI connector, but it's a DVI. All right, and then this is uh, the latest round of the RP2040 Cutie Pie. Yeah, I showed this off um, last week as a, like, it's, it's also a top secret. Um, this is me actually, like, getting, like, after the show, I was like, I should actually, like, get it working. So I got it working, uh, got CircuitPython uh, compiled for this chip, and uh, tried it out, just plugged in some sensors, and got stuff printing out on the REPL. Okay, and that is this week's top secret. Ooh, get back in the vault. <laughs>